call the Wilmette Public Library District Board of Trustee meeting to order. It's 7.31. Information has been distributed the traditional ways, both electronically as well as physically. And when you came in, you saw the announcements on the door. So can we have a roll call? Sure. Uh, Trustee Fishman. Here. Trustee Riddle. Here. Trustee Johnson. Here. Trustee Rogers. Here. Trustee Wolf. Here. Trustee McDonald. Here. And I must say that uh, Trustee Wolf has, is serving as Secretary Pro Tem for this evening until Jan shows up. Okay. We have some public members in uh, present. Do you all have anything that you would like to say? Okay. Thank you. Hearing none, we move right ahead. We are honored to have Sarah Beth Brown, Head of Community Services, do a year in review, which will be going live at some point in time on the internet if it's not now. So would you come forward and tell us a little bit about what's the year in review? Sure. Hi, everyone. Um, I'm Sarah Beth Brown. I'm the Head of Community Services here at the library. Um, this is our sixth year in review sort of take a look back at what we've done over the past fiscal year. So it covers July 2018 through June of 2019. Um, we started doing them when I got here six years ago. Um, and we have experimented a little bit with the format. Um, the first three years we did a traditional print format and then started thinking about other ways that we could reach people. Um, we have done one web-based on our, on our website um, design. We went back to a print-based uh, format last year, which went out in Off the Shelf. And this year, um, as we were talking about what we wanted to do, we started uh, thinking about how we could tell our story. Um, there are limits in the print-based design in that it is, no matter how hard you try, it is about the text. Um, it is hard to make it look exciting and look dynamic. Um, it looks like a lot of words. And we wanted to tell a more vibrant story of what we've done over the past year. Um, what has gone on in the building has been extremely exciting. We've done all kinds of new programming. We had our first ever Maker Fest, which was a huge success. We do all kinds of interactive programs. We do yoga, we do cooking demonstrations, we do um, all the concerts that we've loved for years. We had two big Meet the Author events. Um, and so we wanted a way that could tell that story a little more, with a little more excitement um, and a little more dynamic so that you felt like you were moving along the year with us. Um, I talked to some of my colleagues and uh, got a wide variety of examples to look at. But one that had stood out and I had seen before and been impressed with was this Adobe Spark product. Um, it is part of the Adobe Suite, which we use for a wide variety of Photoshop. We design our newsletter with it. So we were familiar, we being um, myself and Sarah Rose, our graphic designer, um, who did a lot of work on this with me. Um, and you know, we felt really good about this product for a few reasons. One, again, we're comfortable with the Adobe Suite, and we like that we could use a, use a new product, learn a new skill, um, do something exciting. Um, we also have been re working really hard to invigorate our online presence. We have been working with Stephen Kowal, our head of digital services, to um, do some, some work on our website to make it really cohesive and a good reflection as our online branch. We have um, been experimenting with new things on Facebook and growing our Instagram <coughs> presence and that kind of engagement was something that has been fruitful um, and we felt that this would be a good extension of, of that. Um, so we, we liked telling the story. We started to think about what were the big milestones for us this year um, and how could we tie them together and make that look exciting. We have been, uh, one, of, one of my goals in my department has been to in, increase the number of photographs we take in the building. Um, Sarah or I and Jennifer Bartell, our creative experiences coordinator, run around all the time taking photos. Um, and even with uh, outdoor renovation and my absence for um, a, almost a third of the year on family leave, we still had 
probably twice the number of photos to work with this year than we've had in years past, which was really exciting um, to feel that we could look through our photos and start to see the story of the year. Um, so we, we started culling some images and, and what we could use to show photos. Um, we read through director's reports. I talked to different department heads about what they felt were really good reflections of their department for the year, and we started to put together a very focused look at what we've done. Um, it's uh, reflective of our strategic plan. It's reflective of the new initiatives that we did over the year. Um, we wanted it to not be bogged down in text, which I know has been something that we've struggled with in previous annual reports, and that was really important that it felt exciting to read. Um, so we started to put it together. We did some interesting new graphics, some new infographics that Sarah put together. Um, and so this is, this is where we are. I'm going to go through it with you guys, I guess. Okay. Um, so we've got it up here on the screen. Um, this was our staff photo, which we were really excited to take at um, Staff Institute Day last year. Um, so we've got a, a good percentage of the staff in there, which is really, really fun. Um, and then Sarah designed these really um, sort of fun and eye-catching um, infographics that um, tie into our branding. So that's another thing that we really want to do. We want to make sure it stays cohesive with our branding, and that was <coughs> another benefit of the Spark product is um, they make that extremely easy. So we've got MakerFest, um, which was fun. We had a ton of photos that we took, which was great. Um, the Library of Things, which was introduced last fall. Um, here we've got some more stats. We tried to, to mix it up to give you your eye someplace new to rest as you were scrolling to get a break, you know, to, to be able to really see when you were getting to a next, the next section. Summer reading, um, one of the real hallmarks of the library. Um, University, Universe of Stories this year had a huge participation rate. Um, and you can see we were able to take some photos of the finisher event, which also was our first event on the library lawn. Um, so that was, that was great to be able to add. And then um, this fun addition, some, some books that we loved over the year. Um, that's something new that we're sharing. We have not talked much about that. And I think it's something that really helps um, tie us into the community of readers that we, that we know that we are. That's um, a great idea. And remind me, I kind of didn't hear this, but is this going to be, this is going to be in print as well? It or is, will it be always it, This is digital? just a digital product. Okay. It does not translate to print, but um, we will be creating a press release that has the information here that we can distribute as well as sort of an informational one to two page, two-sided um, document that we can take with us to meetings and give uh, give out to people who may ask for it at the desk. That would have this information, but this does not. Um, it does not print, so we no, will. No, yeah, a, it's really nice this way. That's what I mean. yeah. We'll um, we'll 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 take some time to make sure we can translate it to to a document that people can take with them, because we want to make sure everybody can have access to this information. So this was one of our our real favorite moments of the year, um, inviting the Raven Brothers uh, <laughs> to the so library. Cool. They, they came to us and wanted to recreate this picture. Um, and so it was a lot of fun Aww. to do that at the sort of the close of summer reading. Um, so that was fun. And then we're moving into the community. Um, one thing that we are really proud of this year was getting outside of the building a ton. We have the new Dropbox. Um, Ruth Bell, our outreach coordinator, I think that's her, outreach librarian in youth services has been going all over town. Um, she goes to preschools throughout the village. She does story times. All of our youth librarians do story times throughout the village. Um, and just getting out there and getting to see people and, and making it a two-way interaction rather than just coming to us. 
um, has been a really exciting development. Um, we've done we've always done outreach, but we're really making it a priority as it as it has been in our strategic plan. Um, Professor Plum has gone out significantly more this year than last year, which is really fun. Um, we know people, we've heard that people love to see the bike out and about in the community. Um, so there you can see it all loaded up with some summer reading goodies. Um, some really creative programs this year. We do programs almost every day at the library. So we had a real um, trove to to choose to highlight, but one thing that was really important to us was the American Creed series, um, which helped foster conversation about a shared American Creed. Um, it again ties in with our strategic plan, um, and was an honor to be selected as one of the libraries to participate. Um, you can see some other exciting, innovative programs. We've done yoga, yoga for kids, yoga for adults. Um, the teens are doing Dungeons and Dragons, um, story times. We have um, just a great, you know, really robust slate of programs. And so we wanted to make sure to highlight as well. Of course, we have our big outdoor renovation, which looks beautiful. Um, we've got a mother and son who are using our new bike racks, which was really fun. Um, there are families reading on the pebbles every day. Um, I could walk outside daily and get a picture of families enjoying those pebbles. So um, that was a great thing to be able to share um, from the renovation, to see people really using it. Um, it's only been complete for a couple months, but I saw families running around and uh, swinging their kids around on the lawn just today. So that was really fun. Uh, and then we've got some of our circulation information, moving into some of our, our reading. Um, we are a community of readers. At heart, that is, you know, one of the foundational elements of the library. Um, and our, our big book events are just, I mean, they, our adult services department knocks it out of the park. So um, we've got our One Book Everybody Reads author. We've got another Meet the Author event with Abdi Nora Ifton that happened just about a year ago. So, um, and we even had a children's author come visit. So that was really fun, um, a great look back on some of the you know, in-depth reading that we got to do together as a community. And then we have wonderful community partners. We always, you know, love to, to get a chance to shout out um, the, the different groups in the community that we work with. Um, the Friends of the Library, of course, um, is one of those relationships that is really, like, part of the bedrock of the library. Um, and then the schools, the park district, um, the village, so we we did that, and then we had this great poster um, from last spring. So we, we closed with that, and that's that was sort of the story of our year. Oh, nice. Thank, you. Thank you. Did you have a chance to show some of what these link to, for example, the oh. WGN yes. piece on? Sure, I can Professor go back. Paul. So that was um, last summer. WGN came out um, and did a story on us. So they, um, here's a little video, a little article. Um, the rest of the links go, most of the links go to internal sites, and they've all been permalinked to this year's content. So. If you go to this page in five years and you click Summer Reading, you'll get Summer Reading 2019, um, which is important because we're always updating. You know, If you go to our website and look at Summer Reading, it'll be the year you're in. But we wanted to make sure that this was an accurate snapshot of, um, of where we are. So the outdoor renovation right now is um, you know, in our projects, and as that if we, as we get other projects, we'll make sure to link 
appropriately so that you can always find the right information here. Thank you. We can see the staff has been very robust in planning. <laughs> Lots of good things in terms of bringing people in here. Yeah, Go they on. they have. That's, uh, what have been some of the challenges in terms of social media? Because you talked about working on social media, and so in terms of looking at social media as a tool to draw people in, where do you see that going? That is a great question. We are. Uh, we're, we're working on that right now. Instagram is a great place to build a conversation. It is growing. Our audience there is growing. Um, Facebook has is in an interesting place. It is not growing in the way that other platforms are growing, but it is where everyone is. Um, I was talking just today with some of my colleagues about trying some ways to um, increase our engagement on Facebook. Our engagement